The following presentation was recorded at the 2011 Southeast Linux Fest in Spartanburg, South Carolina. It is licensed under a Creative Commons license. For more information about the Southeast Linux Fest, visit www.southeastlinuxfest.org. The Southeast Linux Fest would like to thank the following Diamond and Platinum sponsors in 2011 for helping make these videos possible. Okay, it's 908, so we're going to go ahead and get started. All the early risers have finally wandered in, I hope. And there's another one. Um, I am Doug Van. Uh, welcome to the 20, uh, where are we? 2011 Drupal Camp South Carolina, or Drupal Camp Southeast Linux Fest. We don't know what to call this thing. We're just happy to be here. Um, who, was here who was with us last year? Yeah? And so a lot, of, a lot of new first timers. That's awesome. Last year, um, I was speaking, no, two years ago, I was speaking at Ohio Linux Fest, and some of the organizers of uh, Southeast Linux Fest saw me there. Uh, we didn't have a Drupal camp at, at Ohio. We, I was just speaking at the regular Linux tracks uh, about Drupal. And they said, hey, come out to Southeast and Linux Fest and do a, do a Drupal camp for us. And we exchanged emails back and forth, and it finally, I finally understood what they meant was they had all the AV and all the facilities. They just wanted me to put together you know, a bunch of really talented people to talk about stuff. So that was, that was cool. Uh, a lot of familiar faces this year. We'll be back again. We had so many sessions come through this year, we had to go for three tracks. So um, I know that it stinks having to make decisions and which one you're going to go to. So hopefully we'll have some time. Uh, we'll, we'll use some time right now, actually. Um, Eric, your mic's probably hot. Are you mic'd? Yeah. Yeah. Um, go ahead and uh, plug your session. OK. So I'm doing two sessions in the, uh, I guess, room, this area over here. Uh, both of mine are definitely catered more towards the developer. Um, my first one's basically on sort of developer best practices, little tips and tricks for that most developers don't know about that can save you guys a lot of effort. Um, I've done that presentation in Florida and California before, so might as well bring it a little closer to home this time. Um, and I'm also doing a presentation on deployment, which is everyone's favorite topic in Drupal, and uh, working with some pretty cool tools there to integrate Hudson or Jenkins and Selenium and JMeter and all that stuff into one test and I have a bunch of swag coming out for uh, Acquia and Sauce Labs who is gracious enough to bring some hot sauce. So if you want some hot sauce, I got some for you. Sweet. Uh, Shrop, you want to join me and you'll be close enough to proximity of my lapel mic. We'll pick you up. Matthew D. Connerton, you're the next contestant. On the session, on the session is right. Where are you at on the schedule? Um, I'm at 2:45. I'll be teaching on rapid Drupal development using tools like Features and Drush and Drushmake and Profiler and Context. And it's going to be a fast-paced session. We're going to talk a lot. Of a lot about a lot of different things, so come check it out, definitely. Yeah. Thanks so much. The good news is everything is being recorded, so you can play it back at half speed. You know, it, it'll, get, it'll be easier to understand because he goes fast. You're speaking today, but I have no idea who you are. I am Nikolai. <laughs> yeah, come on up, Nikolai. Oh, good. You're, um, yeah, I'm actually checking that one out. So um, this morning I'm going to do a session, Introduction to City CRM, which is by far the coolest CRM for nonprofits. It's open source. Um, I used to work at Blackboard, so I know all the proprietary like competition. Uh, so it does cool like integration with rules, integration with views, um, just all kinds of fun stuff. So um, check that out if you do any implementations for nonprofits, because it's geared more towards the folks who implement this stuff or are going to customize it. 
And then in the afternoon, um, if you've heard of Drush but you've never used it, it's this really sweet command line tool to do a, a lot of Drupal stuff without having to click and wait and click and wait and download and wait and click and wait some more. Um, if you already know Drush, you might want to check out another session because this is definitely like intro to some of the commands. Um, but once you learn that, then you kind of, uh, you can really go and do some cool stuff like Agir is built very much on, on Drush Make. Um, so I'll show you how to create make files so that you can run one file and create a full Drupal site. Sweet. Any more speakers from today, today wandered in since we started? Nope, we've covered all the speakers who, who, who got up early. Okay, good. Um, and if I haven't apologized for my voice, I was screaming at the dual core concert last night. So that's how that goes. Every, every camp I go to, I scream about something. Um, I am actually only going to make it to uh, the first four sessions. Um, I'm checking out Nikolai at uh, managing and building sites with Dresh and Dresh Make. I'll be checking that out. And then I got to head out to Redmond, Washington to Microsoft's offices. From Linux Fest to Microsoft's offices. I love that. Um, they're inviting a bunch of open source uh, engineers, uh, users, developers, um, CMS people, etc. Um, see, George from Palantir will be there, uh, British from Chapter 3, myself, um, Robert Jacoby from one of the Joomla shops in uh, Chicago, and I don't know who else. I'll find out when I get there. But uh, they're showing off uh, their web matrix tool. So um, you, you will not see me past uh, past three uh, past two thirty. So heads up on that. I'm going to now ask Eric to um, get you all jobs and educate you on uh, cool stuff that exists. Take it away, Eric. This is definitely the shameless plug section of the presentation. Um, for all the early risers out there, I have free three-month trials to DevCloud, if anyone's interested. Um, so I'm glad you asked. I didn't plant that question, I promise. Um, so DevCloud is essentially a, a managed hosting solution for Drupal. Um, so basically, we host your subversion repositories, or Git, soon in the next few weeks, I believe. And all you have to do is worry about doing the Drupal development. We have a fully tuned stack out in the cloud. We can scale it however it's needed. We can um, we facilitate deployment between environments. It's all it's all a one-stop shop, so that you can just focus on development and leave the system administration to other people. So I'm actually going to steal from the the brains behind DevCloud, Barry Jaspin, and I'll actually just narrate over his screencast he has here. Um, so like I was saying, DevCloud is our, everyone knows we have our managed cloud, our Acquia hosting as it used to be called, um, which is our large scale, multi-tier, redundant, HA, all the real big fancy stuff. DevCloud is sort of our answers for both developers as well as uh, just smaller sites. Um, the name might be a little misleading. It's not just for development. You can host full-fledged sites on it. It comes with varnish and memcache and all the tuning you'd expect from a full server. It's just on a single server. Um, so I think that's the number one misconception we get is it's something that you develop on and you have to figure out some way to move it off. Um, our base plan, you can host up to three sites on it. So for, you know, if you have smaller clients or you just want to have a couple different sites you're developing on locally, it's actually perfectly sized for that. Um, they're ba if any of you guys know much about Amazon's, they're, the base package is C1 Medium, which is, I think, two gigs of RAM and two cores. So it's definitely a little bit more than your average VPS. Um, so it's a great starting point to actually see how your site can really perform on a well-tuned stack. Um, once you throw in varnish and memcache and all that, you can have all the benefits of a fully administered server without any of the effort at all. Um, as we'll see here in just a second, we also have a lot of graphical tools to make deployment easier. Um, once you actually have the deployment process sort of in a steady state, which is what I'll be presenting on today, we have all these features so that if you just want to start off with a Drupal distribution, it's all point and click. You get running there. 
Um, so if you're just if you need a starting point, if this is just something you want to test out, you can use this purely as a sandbox if you're interested in that. But at the same time, we also can import Drupal sites. So one thing we've been working hard on with Drush is there's actually an export command for Drush now. Um, I don't know how many of you guys have actually noticed that in there, but it actually backs up your entire Drupal site, the database, the settings, all of that into a special archive format that you can just upload into our, our, direct, our repository. And it's just, you run it from the command line, it gives you one file and you upload that one file and you're good to go, there's no more. It does all the importing of the database, importing of code, does all of that for you. And that's something we've been working on in the community, so it's, it's probably likely that other hosting providers will use that in the future. Um, so it's definitely not something that we're just kind of developing on our own. It's definitely something out there for everyone to benefit from. Um, so let's get to the deployment here. Okay. So combined with our dev desktop tool, um, again, this is something we've recently renamed. It used to, everyone knows it by DAMP or the just Aqua Drupal, the control panel. We've actually re-engineered it so you can actually export from your local machine developing straight into DevCloud. So it can even handle all the uploading for you, again, just through point and click. And this has versions for Windows and Mac. Um, for the Linux guys, I'm sure you guys know how to do it anyway, so. <laughs> uh, but it's all just one, it's all just one collective suite. Um, we worked hard. Managed Cloud, a lot of the onboarding there is getting people's code committed and getting databases in, all that stuff that real large scale, you know, hundreds of thousands of hits a month, millions of hits a month we host, they can deal with that kind of overhead. But if you're rapidly churning out smaller sites, it's just too much work for that to happen. So if we look at our workflow here, we have every site comes with a staging and a production environment. So that's just out of the box on the one machine you get. And you can actually drag and drop just between all your environments. So what this actually does, if you drag and drop code, this isn't just copying files like a lot of tools out there do. This is actually automatically creating a tag in your version control system and deploying the tag. So not only is it easy, but it's actually following absolute best practices. Um, and it's same thing with files and databases. You can just copy all those over, and files meaning the upload files, of course. And all of this is just completely automated. Um, I'll be talking a little bit about how to do this with Drush, but essentially this is what we're doing underneath, is we're using all the community tools. Um, we're just kind of bringing it as far as we can. And... So the one last piece. Um, so it's definitely the, of course, there's some of this that's obviously marketing pitch, but as a system administrator by trade myself, um, there's definitely a big gap between setting up your Drupal site once and actually maintaining two or three different environments. And that's exactly the problem we're trying to solve here. Um, Oh, good enough. So it's all about, so for the developers, the big things are we have an optimized environment. There's low cost entry. You can get up and running through our tools through just a simple export process. And also it's fully maintained. So you never have to worry about software updates. All of the, all of the optimizations we've done for our managed cloud that host some really huge Drupal sites, tens of millions of hits a month. All of those same optimizations go into every single developer's workflow. So everything from optimizing the database on the fly as you're importing, which is all stuff we've pioneered, into just having really sane Drupal-specific defaults for the whole hosting infrastructure. We don't host anything other than Drupal. We don't care to host anything other than Drupal. We have an environment that's completely tuned just for Drupal, that's all it'll be tuned for, and um, you definitely get the most bang for your buck when you're looking for a really specific solution versus something very generic. So I definitely don't want to go through the whole pitch here, but um, like I said, I have uh, three-month trials here. 
Um, I believe the, I don't want to be wrong on the price, but I believe the yearly subscription is somewhere starts under about 500 a year, I think. And for right now, we're doing yearly instead of um, just monthly, uh, which will come shortly. Uh, so we're definitely looking for small dev shops for this, medium dev shops who just need other environments to play with. Um, and you know, we're, we're really trying to ramp this up as a, not just a, not just another product, but actually a complement to our managed cloud where we're looking for, we're really looking to build a community of people in dev cloud that can create their sites there and once their sites outgrow it, we can provide one, one click solutions to go from the dev cloud instance to our larger, much more robust uh, managed cloud instances. Um, so we're trying to create a big ecosystem, a big community around having both of these products and bringing them all together. Um, so any quick questions? I don't want to take over the whole session here, but any quick questions I can answer? Okay. So the question is, does, sorry, how does Drupal Gardens fit in with DevCloud? Um, the best thing I can say is they're managed at different levels. At Drupal Garden, we actually manage it at the Drupal level. So we handle all the security updates to Drupal, bug fixes. We're doing all of that at the actual Drupal layer. This is more for someone that's developing a custom site and needs to deploy it to servers. This we are managing at the server level. So they're not, um, where DevCloud and Managed Cloud are sort of complementary. Drupal Gardens is kind of its own product. Drupal Gardens is definitely more for prototyping, brochureware, simpler sites. This is more of a way to host more custom sites that are actually being actively developed. So any other questions I can help out with? All right, um, after this keynote, come get me. We'll be uh, handing out the DevCloud subscriptions. Um, and they all have a special coupon code, and it'll be three months. So. Just enough to whet your appetite, not a little one month trial where you sign up and forget about it. So, all right, thanks, everyone. Thank you. So, we have other people who've come in. Uh, any more speakers for today that have wandering, wandered in the room? No more speakers. Wow. That's going to be interesting as the day progresses. When, when we, we shall see. So everybody knows what we're doing, where they're going. These are the three rooms. The air walls are going to be closed here shortly. We're going to break up. What is it? Is it uh, A over here and then B, C? Right? Okay. That's how that goes. Cool. Um, any questions about the rooms, the day, what's going on? The only question I have is where are all the presenters? Didn't get lost, did they? All right. So that's a wrap. We will be back uh, in our respective rooms at 1015. So that's going to give us a long break. and. Everybody's going to finally wake up, get breakfast, and show up. Thank you. What about this? I can help with I like it. it. We have the same problem. What would happen if you did I this? You gave me a I good found idea. problem. How do you do that? It's like this. Well, I disagree with it. Really? Who would have thought of that? Let's put the word out. An OS that works the way that you do. Across all your devices. HP Slate and WebOS. HP. As a service leader in cloud computing, all we do is hosted computing. To us, the cloud is just the next generation of hosting. And as someone who's been in the hosting industry for 12 years, we feel we're in a unique position to really help bring these two worlds together, these different sets of technologies, and to help companies embrace this new world and this great new tool that allows faster innovation. Not only is it about us being responsive and accountable, but it's about us doing more for you.